Well, praise the name of the Lord. Thanks for joining me in Romans 8. And Paul is talking about living according to the Spirit of God. In Romans 8, 15, he says, You did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear. We did not receive the spirit that brings us into fear, into condemnation, into um, oppression or anything like that. It bring us into fear. We're not slaves in that in that um oppressive sense of the word you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear but you received the spirit of adoption as sons not slaves but sons we're not slaves anymore we are sons of god we receive the spirit and the spirit of god is a spirit of adoption he has adopted us into the family of god and so we cry now what abba father we see god as our father that's why um, the born again experience is so essential, so important because unless we're born again, we're just going to be seeing ourselves as, as human beings and God as this one who's so far away from us, distant. We are mere mortals and he's God. But when we are born again, we come into that relationship with our heavenly father. We realize now that we are sons of God. We are children of God. And the reality of God as our Heavenly Father becomes clearer to us. And that's why Jesus said, you know, when he prayed, he he's prayed to your Father in heaven. And the Spirit of God who comes in our hearts when we are born again is the Spirit of adoption. And we immediately begin to sense um, our sonship, our, our position as children of God in our relationship and not necessarily as just mere mortals serving this God who's way far beyond and, and has no connection to us. We did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into, into fear, but we have received the spirit of adoption as sons. And so we cry, Abba, Father. We can lift our hands. We can turn to God and say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. We are children of God. And he says the spirit himself. Now notice um, the, the correct translation is not itself, but himself, because the spirit is a person. He, he the spirit himself, he bears witness. He, he talks to us. He, he speaks to us in our inner man. He bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. No one, you don't really need anyone to come and tell you you're a child of God. Because once the spirit of God is inside of you, you know you're a child of God. I know when I became a Christian um, in the first um, very early months and some people were trying to discourage me from going to the church and, 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 and living for Jesus. Um, you know, try, they, they were doing that in vain because in my heart I knew there was a change. In my heart I knew I had become a child of God. Because it's, and it's, this, these are not words that came from the pastor or any church leader or anyone like that. It was the Spirit of God in me. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. If you don't have that um, inner witness that you are a child of God, then that's something that you need to take to God in prayer and really ask yourself, okay, where do I really stand with God? Have I repented of my sins? Have I opened my life to the Lord Jesus Christ? Have I surrendered um, Lordship to him and say, Lord, I'm going to serve you. Lord, forgive me and I'm going to live for you and serve you. And once you've done that, you will obviously begin to sense a change in your life and, and finding a good church and attending it and so on. Well, here, the Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. We are children of God. It is such an exciting thing, such a wonderful thing to know that we are children of God. Blessed be the name of Jesus.